Some four. Uh, I'm not gonna use the base attachments of the gun because it's ass. Without without attachments, specifically a barrel attachment, the XM4 is pretty ass. It's a five to six shot weapon. I think it's the only underperforming gun in the game right now. So, yeah. Securing zone A. I actually tried recording this. Uh, specific gun video before and I fuck I was not having fun because the only thing I was dealing with was uh, jackals the uh, broken SMG that's in the game got killed by an mp5 that time that's the second SMG in the game That's annoying. Taking B. We lost B. Ooh, can we not lag? Control zone C. Taking A. A bad feeling about them spawning behind us. Securing Alpha. Fucking called it. So uh, I'm also a little sad that you can't turn. M maybe we'll have more attachments than when the full game comes out here in a couple months. I think it's like two or three months. Uh, is you can't. God damn it. Ha! <laughs> damn it. You can't turn the XM4 into an M16, which is the M16 that came out during Vietnam, or the M16A1, which it's kind of a bummer because it's got that sick triangular handguard that has like sex appeal, let's be honest. The early M16s and M4s and Car 15s and the early Colts they like the integrated carry handle and that triangular handguard is just oh it's it's sex appeal it's it's such a sexy looking gun and you can't turn it into either the car 15 or the m16 a1 but that being said you can turn it into the m16 a2 with the m16 stock and then um the long barrel so that's really nice. Also, skill-based matchmaking, I've been, I've been fucked over the past three hours, and now it's giving me a bone. So I'm going to do moderately well this game, and then skill-based matchmaking is going to fuck me, and then I'm going to run into massive sweat lobbies. Just you watch. I was going to say, losing Charlie to what? I'm not jumping down there. My ego says jump down there. But my that guy should have died. But my brain's like, don't do it. And I'm not using the cringe, the cringe ass fucking cod lingo that everyone uses. Like ego chow. That's how can you not tell me that shit is not mega cringe? That was a lot of headshots. I think that was three or four headshots and he did not die. That's why I really do think there needs to be headshot multipliers in COD. Because that was ridiculous. I was watching Mr. Waffle Waffle stream when he was reacting to COD Next. And he kept saying the word glazed. Like, what? I know the word glazed means like, oh, I glazed over that. Actually, no, that it's I'm, I'm literally retarded. That means grazed. Never mind. I, I'm just stupid. I know it's like a fucking cringe ass Gen Z or Zoomer talk or whatever the fuck. Losing A. Like the word cap. We're losing Alpha. 
I sound like a boomer. I'm not. I'm not a boomer. Uh, so beware of this spot. A lot of pussies like camping there, and usually they're running SMGs. Just it, it's just a thing. I don't know how none of my shots registered, and because my aim and the last two shots was on target. Hold on, let me reload. <laughs> uh, I'm keeping that in. I'm ke usually I'd edit that out because it's not entertaining. I'm keeping that in because, God, I'm so bad. Okay. Oh fuck! I couldn't melee because I was throwing a nade. Oh man, that's a lot of headshots and he's still alive. <laughs> oh, I love that you can shoot through things now. Like, I don't, that used to be a thing in COD where you could shoot through certain... T no! And then now they took it out. I know it was kind of a huge thing in Vanguard because they kind of marketed it where, like, you could blow doors open. Certain walls and windows you could destroy. Uh, and then that never returned, which I thought was actually a good mechanic. Because, like, if you had a little bitch, like, head glitching behind a certain material, you could just shoot through it and kill them instead of having to shoot them in the head. I love how I can basically 360 dolphin dive. Okay. Taking a grenade out. Like I can dolphin dive in any direction and look in any direction while my gun is still up. I don't know how real realistic that is. I know they kind of marketed that as like move how operators move in real life, but. I think every operator, including their military advisors, would say you can't dive backwards and shoot while doing that. There's another detail in the game. If I can show it off, I'll try I'll try and interject it on the screen here. But when you shoot all but one mat, like every bullet in your magazine, and the last bullet's in the chamber, and you do an inspect, the magazine is empty, but the chamber has a bullet in it. So to me, that's I, I love that. I love attention to detail of firearms. That's that's something that IW did with Modern Warfare 2019 that I absolutely fucking love because like it adds a little bit of an immersion, even if you're just you don't care and you're playing multiplayer just for the aspect of a COD multiplayer. Those little attention to details is just it makes the immersion of a COD game, which Call of Duty always, in my opinion, lacks immersion. And that's something that I personally think that IW tries to do and the community shits on them for it. And in some aspects, yes, I can see why they're shitting on them, but in a broader respect, there's really no reason to shit on IW when they're just trying to give the player more immersion. And I think that's something that people need to give IW credit for. And I, and I see that detail right here in Black Ops 6. Which, Treyarch isn't really known for doing that. And seeing it in one of their games, I love it. Although, all devs do this too for COD, is they need to stop mix-mashing weapons together and just pick one and model that weapon. Yeah, that guy was dead and I was still getting hit markers. That's weird. Holy fuck. I keep forgetting I have tap on. And my gun's gone. Okay, well, we gotta use the jackal. No, we don't. Okay. 
That's some kind of weird grenade. Haha, <laughs> frag kill. Was that a dead body? Yeah, that was a dead body. <laughs> Man, I'm so good at throwing nades. I will forever pat myself on the back for that. I got you, homie. I think I hear a dude. Nice nade, dude. You can tell this engine got an upgrade. It's a lot more cleaner. It's a lot more sharper. The fidelity is a lot better. And that's probably it. It's probably has to do something with the texture streaming too. But yeah, I, I love the weapon detail and I really hope they add weapon. First of all, I hope they add weapons that actually exist. Because I don't want this game to turn into a fucking vanguard where they add laser weapons and then they add a fucking modern day assault rifle like the FNF 2000. And in general, vanguard and World War II, they just added weapons from like 1946 to 1950 to the 60s. I'm like, Sledgehammer, what the hell are you doing with the game? Okay, surprise. I think this kind of sounds more like just the standard like in a English a standard suppressed M4 from previous titles oh my god he let me reload into the drop shot to kill him oh everyone's using SMGs <laughs> did you see that little run animation he got stuck in a run animation Oh my god. I, I love random frag kills. Hey dude, can you turn around? No? Okay. Cod timing on God, that was ass. No! God damn it. That's the first meat shield I've seen. You know, you could easily just like... Turn around, right? They need to, they kind of need to make that a little bit more plausible because he's only holding me with one arm. I could easily like crouch and I'd be out of that meat shield. What am I watching right now? I didn't get an assist, so that guy is alive. Wait, we're losing what? How? Okay, that was weird. This objective's mine. Using scout pulse. That's a nade. Just got another scout pulse. They're taking C. Just say no one sees that man on the minimap. That's gonna kill me. Okay, good. Ha! Oh, I was hoping they wouldn't have saw me. The visibility is a little it's a little weird. Now that you can kinda rotate a full 360 while laying down without your full entire body moving, like your torso and your legs are kinda separate. Kinda like how it is in Battlefield 5. You can kind of hide a little bit. Like, I, I could see some pretty insane... Oh, my God. I can see some pretty insane S&D, like, ninja diffuses with this new movement and with the new, uh, like, prone animations. If I wasn't on a point right there, I don't think that guy would have noticed I was there. Also, I kind of feel like I'm playing Max Payne 3 every time I fucking dive like that. Oh, nice headshot. Yeah, I'm getting zero kill co confirmation noises in headshots. I know I complained about that like 7 billion times. Nice nade, by the way. Man. I gotta destroy that trophy. It's denying me cross-map nades. I don't like that. I guess that's kind of a, the whole point of the meat shield. Because it's kind of like a 
It's kind of like those 80s military gimmick movies where someone hides behind a body and the body takes like a million bullets and like it doesn't penetrate the other side. I'm guessing that's kind of the whole point of that. Securing B. The 80s, 90s action movies with uh, fucking Stallone and I, I can't remember. They're, all of the actors I'm thinking of are coming up in my head, but I can't fucking remember their names. Jean-Claude Van Damme's one of them. God damn it. Taking Bravo underway. Well, that was the XM4. I, I like the XM4, but I don't think it does enough damage. With attachments, and specifically barrel attachments, it's perfectly fine. But with no attachments, it's kind of ass, in my opinion. God damn, this dude's movement. Man. Yeah, but well, that's the XM4.